that was fun. Dogs by, know we're home. By the way, good afternoon, right? Good afternoon. How are you today? Good, good. After Hopefully you are all well, too. Yeah. After seeing that project, we're going to have to do now. Yeah. So you guys saw a little glimpse of it in one of the videos, and you all were telling us um, catch basin, riverbed, that was the way to fix it. And that's what we went into thinking also. And then we realized. Um, um, so we'll put it in this. We'll put it in right after this. What we seen there, where we realized a little snippet of it. Yeah. But today we are going to do what? So today we um, are going to focus on cleaning the mowers for you know just final time, just getting them all ready. We do have one more mow cleanup to do. Um, but that's also along with pruning. So we with this new project we may push that out a little bit so we'll see and we are going to use some of that super clean on our mowers yeah today, right they so, sent us back to they sent it to us about a year ago yeah so we're, uh, we're so sorry but we are very excited to actually try super clean and they did send us a nice package so we will show you guys um what we're going to be using today. so we're going to spray it on the mowers and then scrub them off a little bit and then rinse them off and see how it does yeah um and we have a box to open i think back there right? oh yeah oh and i also did want to say we received a card from a subscriber oh, too yeah. um you know who you are thank you so much it was beautiful and yes. we appreciate all of you guys I, again i don't know how many times we can say this we never expected it and um we just really appreciate every single one of you from your comments to your likes to sending us little cards emails um and we had a successful live so maybe we'll try to do that once in a while i we always say then we don't it was yeah. a year since we have but so we have a busy day guys so we'll go ahead and get these mowers cleaned up and then we'll open up this box yeah. a little bit later so and don't forget to please like comment share and subscribe and be happy guys yeah so let's get this day started we have a lot to do so the boss might put me to I'm work excited in the garden to see what's in that box i don't even know well we have two boxes and that's going to be in another video yeah well the second box will be a different video yes so, so. let's go all right, you guys, we just so, found something. Some bad news. After inspecting <laughs> where all this water came from, so it washed out this patio. This slab is supposed to be here. This deck is supposed to be, look, all the way up here. Yeah. And then look under. How far off are we? Yeah, like two three like on that side it's like closer to six inches. On this side okay. it's like so to be honest, and I'm not good at judging inches, but only way I can see now is to fix this is rip that out, mm -hmm. prop that up, mm -hmm. backfill all this, build maybe a paver patio here. All right, well, we're gonna have to go talk to the client. And where will we bring the patio out to? Well, then at that point, we'd, we would just do, you'd have to do the whole thing. We'd, we'd have to grade this whole, so probably a six, a, like a 36 square foot patio. Okay, lo, go, let me go knock on the door and get him. Okay. And then we're going to have to, we know the measurements, it's 50 foot that way. Yeah. We're going to need a patio now or a platform. Back from running errands real quick um, and looking at that project that we got to do. Uh, it's, it's a doozy. It's probably going to be... It's gonna be up there in price. Um, we figure a 36 square foot patio, um, a river rock bed 20, 30 feet long, and a big 20 inch catch basin. And then we're gonna pea gravel all under the deck. If you guys don't know if you're new to our channel, these mowers are the ones we use to mow all of our lawns. We haven't bought a new mower this year, or we didn't buy a new mower this year. We have the 36 inch Z1 Ferris, which Rachel mows with most of the time. We have the Z3 Ferris 61 inch with the Vanguard 37 EFI. Nice mower. We have only had to change the oil once. And then we have the Ferris FW 35 uh, 48 inch walk behind. This is our oldest mower. Um, obviously you can tell it's pretty dirty. 
Um, they have, this one has exactly 992 hours on it. And that's the 48. This one has, the hour meter is in the front. This one has 673.8 hours. And then this one has the least, I think. This one has 265 hours. I know who mows the most. You got the boss at 673. 773, 873, 973. So about 950 hours. And if you take about 50 hours off that I probably mowed with these two mowers. So she's at about 900 hours of mowing. And I'm at... 992 plus to 50 from there so about a thousand forty but i was mowing a year with that before she started a lot of cars go by on this road here comes another one hence the reason why we're going to be selling cut flowers yes this year. and vegetables hopefully this year we're going to be doing a lot of different things we had a farm stand first couple of years but okay yeah. yeah that's a different video so you guys heard me talking about each different mower that's out here that we use and we yeah. figured out that i have mowed a total of about 50 to 90 hours more than the boss has mowed in the lifetime of these mowers i just figured that out wow but i think i mowed two years before you started mowing right yeah mm-hmm you did every that mower was everything yeah. well that and it was a 30 inch we had a 30 inch then too so, so. but she'll she'll beat me next year because she mows probably 80 percent of the lawns right you would say um yeah probably now the beast yeah. the beast does like the majority of the work for sure yeah. so. so we are out here to clean them we have only cleaned them once this year i think yeah because bad. the pressure washer broke and we don't have a pressure washer and i hand cleaned them with dawn dish soap yeah i think i did a video on that way back in the day last year yeah and it works the mm -hmm. that definitely works it's a really good degreaser so um, so what are we going to use today so thanks to jessica and the super clean team they actually sent us a box and they sent us a box a Ooh, long, time, long ago. time ago so we are so sorry that we're just getting to it now but we want to show off their product um they sent us a box of like lots of goodies some with, absorbent some spray yeah. some clean so we're gonna spray it on all these mowers yeah. and see what happens there's some foaming stuff there's some foaming cleaner and then there's some regular cleaner there's also some spray i think mainly for the wheels um and the nice thing is is it's biodegradable which you know it, oh it is yeah it yeah it says um biodegradable detergent so it's you know safer for the environment healthier i guess yeah. i should say i mean i wouldn't go cleaning the mowers in your garden because that wouldn't be a good thing it's no still a no degreaser, so. yeah but it's not gonna be too too harsh and um they're still saying that it's full strength on grime and oil and tar so um we're really excited about it and the floor absorbent we're not going to use today um but that would come in handy yeah when we i'm changing should. the oil because you guys know these things you no matter how clean i mean you could stuff rags in there and mm -hmm. absorb it up but you still get oil on the ground so we'll yeah, see yeah one of our friends gave us like a mat to put down yeah. right but i have um, my worm buckets on it now yeah so. <laughs> so so yeah so it will just be a nice little backup we want to say thank you again to jessica and the team at super clean and um we're excited to get yes to we really are going to try it and see how it works and by the way we are not sponsored by super clean no we're not sponsored they just sent us a box yeah. so this is a thank you video to check out how their products work. Okay, let's go blow them off and then we'll get them washed up. All right. So you'll see these mowers are pretty filthy. Carl's gonna go ahead and blow them off. So these are the directions for Super Clean. Um, you can use it on all kinds of products, tools, driveways, outdoor furniture, um, concrete, fiberglass, stainless steel. And then it says that you should always pre-test an area. We're not worried about Yeah, we're not going to do that. You see how messed the up the mowers are? Yeah. So we're not worried about that, but um, 
it says that you should cover the surface with super clean in the appropriate strength, allowing time to dissolve grease and grime, but not allowing it to dry on the surface. And then we're going to rinse thoroughly and then dry as needed. So depending on how, you know, we suggest to wear gloves. Carl is wearing gloves. Yeah. Even though it is saying that it's biodegradable, it's still a cleaner. So You don't want it up in your fingernails. And exactly. Stuff. I don't mind dirt and stuff, but the gloves for this. So, stuff. and this first one that we're going to use is an aerosol can. So, you know, this is also, we suggest maybe you even have a mask on when you're spraying something yeah. like this. And I'm going to spray it on here very, very, um, what did we call it? Liberally? Yes, liberally. Like heavily? Very so. heavily you're going to... So. Because there's a lot of dirt and grime on here, so... Especially on Rachel's, or one of my tires. The other side, for some yeah. reason, that side gets the worst. I'm going to go this side, though. Wind so it doesn't yeah. spray, yeah. Nice. Nice, good coat. Should I do the tires too? Yeah. Spray okay. everything. Now the 48 is going to be getting new shoes come yeah. spring. Why is this side so dirty? Because of the shoe blocker. When I built the shoe blocker, if you guys see, when I built the shoe blocker, this was supposed to bend back. I cut it off. It wasn't right. supposed to be like that. Yeah. So, we put this on ourselves. Let's go ahead and spray this. Oh, did. Guys, I am not the videographer. Carl usually is. I can make it work. It's a good cleaner. Yeah. But I mean, it's not gonna get every little spot off. I no, know but our mowers are pretty dirty. But, but nothing, nothing ever has gotten every little spot. You always got to put some elbow grease in it. And when you're washing these mowers, I've never covered the electric electrical components. I've never had an issue in the ten years of washing these things and all my other mowers so yeah some people actually suggest not to even put i even pressure wash them and it doesn't do anything yeah put a pressure washer on i was gonna say like most people are like oh you pressure wash your mowers but these babies are strong they can i mean if if you're pressure washing them and they're not starting the next day then I mean, what's that? I mean, I know a pressure is a lot of pressure to put on. I mean, I wouldn't directly spray it on the electrical components, but I mean, they're out in the rain. A lot of guys mowing, the pouring down rain. You remember how shiny you got these last yeah. winter? You challenged me to get your mower pretty again. You want me to make it look brand new? Well, we're just going to clean them because we have to put our time into doing other stuff this year. Last year, we um, did not have to put money into the trailer and and fix the trailer and this year we're gonna have to wow look at it. look at how dirty they are okay so how long has this been sitting on not that long only a couple minutes it yeah. says not to let it dry on so i'm not gonna let it dry on yeah so we're gonna go ahead and rinse it off yeah wow look at it and we're not using pressure. No, he did not even actually scrub it. We just sprayed it on and this is just rinsing it off. So not bad for just letting it yeah. sit on, right? Uh-huh. Okay, um, I was gonna say the next we're gonna use one of these sprays next. Are you gonna use the foaming one or do you wanna use the regular one? Oh. Or maybe we'll use the foaming one on one. Yeah. And the regular one on the other oh, because, I yeah. Oh, well. So I'm gonna rinse this off. Yeah, so we're gonna oh, rinse wow. it off. 
this one was, this was the really dirty that side. was the really dirty side okay. so not bad i mean you can actually see a tire now to be honest with you that's just the one spray mm -hmm. we're gonna go ahead and actually clean these mowers so we're gonna spray them down and we're gonna scrub them up right yeah, yeah I'm, i always scrub them there's no there, you're not going to give me any cleaner that's going to strip it all up and you don't have to scrub. Right, without I mean, scrubbing. You have to. Got to put elbow grease in everything. So I don't think that we're going to do the 36 now. We're just going to concentrate on just the 48 and the 61. So Carl is scrubbing them up. But overall, what do you think, Carl? It works good. Um, yeah. There's no cleaner. You're just going to spray on and wash it off and not have to scrub. I mean, it takes right. elbow grease. Uh, but if you just want to spray it on, get all the grime off, leave it on and spray it off real quick, it will get it washed real quick. Especially if you have a, like a light pressure washer. We're just using a hose with our thumb. Yeah. So. And this was like a, like a whole season yeah, of dirt, dirt, you guys. And, grime. and then see, if you do it a little bit of elbow grease after you spray it, it, it comes right off really easy. And we do that with the mowers at least once a year. Anyway. Yeah, so we just want to show you guys too. Um, the stickers are holding up fairly well. They've been on now, what, for a year? Yeah. So Carl waxed it last winter and then put the stickers on. Um, but and see, not, so we watch everybody. Uh, Acme, Red Birches. Red Rock puts stuff up. Yeah, Red Rock does. Leo puts stuff up. Um, Scouts. Eclipse. Tony's Lawn Care. I, oh, I forgot. There's some down yeah, here. Yeah, Wyatt. So nice. yeah, a lot of them. Look, Aaron's Lawn Maintenance up there, Texas Veterans. So you guys know all that those people. And then we have a lawn care nut, right? Yeah. We have the lawn care nut one that we never put on. And um, I forgot there was somebody else too. Oh yeah, and look at Scout lawn, on, lawn Care on there too. Yeah. So yeah, nice. So that's holding up pretty well. All right, so Carl's just going to give you an after of these. Yeah, um, because I have other things I want to get done. We're going to start trying out seed trays because we got something in the mail that we are going to set up and use. Yeah. So stay tuned for that, guys. We do do gardening and farming. And yeah, we just do. This is a vlog. This is a vlog of our life. This is just who we are and, um, and what we do on a daily Our life. Yes. And what a beautiful it is. Look at that cows up the mountains yeah one day when you know i own all of that i wish that would be like the perfect land known right <laughs> the perfect 50 acres that would be i don't know if it's that even that many acres okay i i am a proponent of um dawn dish soap yeah if you have to go to clean um it breaks down the stuff the grease you could probably leave it on there longer than this to clean but this stuff does break it down better. Um, it's easier to wipe off. The, su the, the what, super clean. Yeah, the super clean does. But I wanted to, that wasn't why I wanted Rachel to record. It is a degreaser, guys. Yeah. So when you spray it all over your mower, if you notice, right in here are your grease points. It turned it white or a cloudy color. Yeah. So make sure when you're done doing all your maintenance, before you start mowing again to re-grease all your fittings. Yep, you because, have to re-grease because yeah. I did notice that actually down on these mm -hmm. grease fittings too. Turns it white. See? So you want to pump your grease back through these yeah. and re-grease Because everything. it started breaking off all the grease that is right there, see? Very so important thing if you have grease fittings. Yeah. So. All right, okay. so that's why you wanted. Yep. Yeah, so, all right, nice job. They look nice and pretty and clean. That one I gotta rinse off real quick again. Yeah, but and then we're gonna go pick up pizza then, um, from our little. We'll go paint the garage. Yeah, then we're gonna go paint the garage. So we pick up pizza from. It's a little trailer. It's so cute. Well, they're in the process of building a whole new. Building. Yeah, but they, they. It's out of like a. Um, what is that a? 
What do they it's call them? It's out of a trailer, them? like ours. I know, it's out of a trailer, but what do they call them? A food truck, I guess? Yeah, yeah. yeah. They converted a trailer into a food truck. So a great little, go out and support your mom and pop businesses right now, for sure. Evening, Rach. How does it feel to have clean mowers? Good, good. We got them pretty clean. Um, of course, once I do the maintenance on them, which will be in another video, I'll wax them down before next season. Um, so they stay that us waxing them, I think, makes a difference in the amount you have to clean them. Yeah, so. for sure. So we just want to say thanks again to Super Clean for sending that stuff out to us to try. Um, we enjoyed it and hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And if you guys want to try a new cleaner, then go ahead and try Super Clean. I think you can get it wherever. Yeah, so, they sell it yeah. anywhere. And we did get some stuff from some awesome subscribers. Yeah, so you guys did not have to do this. Um, but we wanted to say thank you very much for the beautiful card from Margaret. And then we also um, got something here that we're going to open. We read the card. So thank you very much, Michelle. Yes, um, we very much appreciate it. We didn't open your kind up words. The box yeah, your kind words um, are beautiful. So you guys, again, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to send us a card. We and really to watch it. us and to leave comments. Yeah, um, we, we do it. appreciate it. So we're going to go ahead and open the box for Michelle then and see. Um, I believe it's something that she sewed. Yes. Oh my God. I love it. Oh my gosh, I love it. Oh, that's so awesome. It is so beautiful. Don't want to touch the ground. No, now. I don't want to touch the, shop. the ground. But oh, this is gorgeous. We love it. Oh my, and it has, oh, she knows <laughs> us. <laughs> yes, Thank we you drink so a lot of coffee. And be kind. I absolutely love this. And yes, we will absolutely be using this to cuddle and stay warm this yes. winter. Save the honeybees. I love this. Thank you so much. Again, you did not have to do this. And um, gosh, this is so kind and it just really is very heartfelt and we are save the honeybees we're actually when we get our own property rachel's gonna dabble into beekeeping yeah. so yes, we'll see i do want to but this is beautiful thank you so much yes and, we appreciate and again it. thank you for sending the cards because um you guys do not have to do that at all no but we appreciate it all right so um again we appreciate everybody that watches and takes time likes comments Subscribes. shares yeah um we're gonna end the night here it's getting cold out here and we're gonna be back out tomorrow doing stuff on a sunday in the yard and getting the farm ready yeah a lot of work right? so a good one is be kind for yes, sure be kind but we always say be happy or at least try have a good night have a good night guys